Hi. Um, <clears throat> just letting you know that uh, for the past 20 years, actually more than 20 years, uh, my blood pressure has been killer high. Uh, and about uh, seven years ago, I started taking lisinopril because I noticed that my kidney was starting to fail. It was starting to uh, hurt. And uh, so I thought, okay, I guess I gotta take medication for it. So the, for the past seven years, I've been taking lisinopril. And uh, doctor said, uh, oh, your blood pressure is even high in the morning. So he wanted me to take it, you know, twice, you know, uh, 20, morning, 20 milligrams in the morning, 20 milligrams at night. Uh, and they told me that uh, taking a lot of eventually hurts your kidneys. So I said, oh, really? Hmm. So I tried to do av other avenues. And uh, anyway, thank God for the Internet, because guess what I learned? I learned that potassium lowers blood pressure, and I thought, hmm, I'll start taking potassium. I, I, um, apparently, I have to take a lot of potassium, uh, but I started taking it. I didn't see much of a change, but it's been a week since I've been taking potassium, and uh, guess what? My blood pressure is perfect now. Perfect. I'm taking just a half of lisinopril, but the way it's going, I have a feeling I can get off lisinopril completely just by taking potassium supplements. And uh, so, if you have killer high blood pressure and you want to protect your livers by getting off of lisinopril, get potassium. I mean, potassium, as far as I can tell, is not expensive. I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of common and, and, uh, I take it uh, twice a day, morning and, uh, late afternoon or morning and night around there. And within a week, I think you can probably get off your lisinopril too. Because apparently for the past 20 something years, I've been, uh, deficient in potassium and that's all it was. That's all it was. So, uh, I'll continue to take lisinopril. I'm not lisinopril, but uh, potassium. And uh, maybe it'll do other things for me too. But, 